For many, that's just the sound of people clapping. But for these veterans from Northeast Wisconsin, that sound goes a long way. Veterans like Richard Moon, who served in World War II. Richard, thank you for your service and welcome to your memorial. Moon is one of nearly a hundred veterans who took this honor flight from Appleton to Washington, D.C. So far, I mean, when we get off the bus at uh, Regan, the reception we had was terrific with the people applauding and thanking us. For the last decade, the organization Old Glory Honor Flight has been taking veterans from Northeast Wisconsin on a trip to the nation's capital. Throughout the trip, the veterans are paired up with the Guardian and make stops at memorials that were built in their honor. It's just amazing. <laughs> really appreciative. Triggering emotion. I have lived the whole my whole life in the Navy right here today. Bringing a sense of pride. I'm impressed. I, I'm happy the way we're honoring our veterans. And to see a lot of people coming to look at it really makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I, I, I earned it. Yeah, we got it here. And I'm glad to serve. The new memories being made are starting to outweigh the bad ones. Some veterans say decades ago, life after service wasn't easy. I mean, you got off the plane, you were not treated well, and you were not treated well for quite a few years. You were not shunned or looked down upon or blamed or, or more looked up to. The trip took a slight turn when it was time to see Arlington National Cemetery. Some of the fellas I knew, I was thinking about them. They're the heroes. But as they paid respects to the fallen heroes, they know they still have each other on this journey. The appreciation doesn't stop in D.C. As everyone heads back to Appleton, it's time for mail call. Like where they're surprised with letters from family, friends, and even strangers, thanking them for their service. The moment's a surprise for Vicki Powers, who says she has no blood relatives still alive, reading a letter from a child. And it says, Mrs. Vicki P. on there. And it says, there's a nice star on it. And it says, Mrs. Vicki P., thanks for your service. The USA, I take my hat off to you. Bill, the Navy vet, got a letter from his wife of nearly 60 years. What a fun trip for you. And Darren, you and Dean, I'm sorry. Just want you to know how happy I am for both of you. This trip has a long time coming. As these servicemen and women wait for family, they're met with one last surprise. The community welcoming them back home with signs, a simple handshake, and love. Showing these veterans, people are thankful for them and their service. Keeping you connected, Mo Hyder, NBC 26.